But I want to tell you the game of comparison is... I'm not even recording. Good morning, childrens. A little something different today. I heard a message, and I just want to kind of put my own spin on it. As it applies to YouTube, it's area of contentment. Are you content? Or more to the point, what's your area of discontent? Someone gets more views than you, you don't have enough subs, not enough comments, not enough interaction, some of these edits are better, and the list goes on and on. Maybe simply I just question, why do I bother doing this? If everybody else is so much better, why do I bother? They have so much more, they're so much gooder, better. Let's discuss. Now, I'm no master speaker, philosopher, deep thoughter. I think a lot of us think about the contentment or discontentment of being on YouTube and what we're trying to accomplish. And the more we watch, the more we look around, the more we judge, the more ourselves. And then our mind spins out of control. Our hearts get connected to the wrong things. Instead of creating and working on our own craft, get down, right? Because other people have what you don't have. More views. More of everything, or better gear, whatever your thing is, right? Why am I not seeing the same results as someone else? But guess what? There's others who look at you and think they want what you have. I only have 100 subs. Boy, look at them, they have 500. 500 wants 1,000, 1,000 wants 10,000, and on and on and on. I want to tell you the game of comparison is a dangerous one. We need to crush our comparisons. Many of us think, oh, if I get those thousand subs, I'll be happy then. Or if I get 10,000 views, I'll be happy then. That's when, that's when I'll be happy. But the problem is the target keeps moving. And that moving target, the problem is then you realize there's still someone else with more subs. I have a five, now I'm up to 500, there's still somebody with a thousand. It's an ongoing battle that the target's always moving in. Will you ever be happy if all you're trying to say is I want to get to that next number? Because the happiness when you get there will probably only last a little while before you realize, oh, someone has more than I have. But I'd suggest instead of coveting what everybody else has on their channel, whatever that is, whatever you're trying for, what if we celebrate others and in your heart celebrate what they're doing? Hey, you got that many views. You got Good for you. Way to go. You're, you're hustling. That's what you want to get. Awesome. And don't get me wrong. This is not about not hustling and not trying to get, you know, grow channels because that's what we all want. But it's stopping to think about why and appreciating what we do have and stop and think, hey, I do have this. I, I, I do have a connection to a community. I do have family that supports me. I do have family that helps. It does gr help grow my personal relationship with my spouse because we do this together. It grows my craft of doing creating because I create more often. Instead of desiring what you don't have, be sure you're happy with the success you have and with what you're doing. Don't get down and not do something because you don't have what somebody else has. You can chase that all day long and you'll never be happy. So, like I said, I'm no deep thought person, but I think this is something I personally struggle with of why do I bother because nobody's watching. But you know what? I have to stop and think to the people who are watching and who do watch, they appreciate it. They like it. Um, so whether that's 20 people who like it or a million people who like it, it's still worth it for the people who I've met and the people who want to consume the content. Whatever. Like I said. But I think this is something a lot of us struggle with. So get out there, kids. Appreciate what you do have. Don't desire what others have. Enjoy what you do. Be good to each other. Just enjoy life. I'm Red Boy from the sunny cornfields of Central Illinois, and I'm out. Pushing me to be gunning to the finish and the kidding of a little bit. Everybody know I'm working in the sea. I do it differently, so only time will give me everything that I deserve. My it.